So, it's season 23. New follower skills are happening. This is my non-seasonal character, but I want to give it a spin. I have recently just passed a thousand in my Paragon level, and haven't tried. Uh, previously, I've only soloed a level 95 Greater Rift, um, but I've been thinking I should be trying for a hundred soon, based on how I've been doing in groups. And uh, now we've got the new follower skills, so I have found these things which means Shrines and Pylons will spawn enemy champions, which should greatly help with the time, because champions drop the little globules that uh, boost your um, little timer bar thing there. We've got the Pylon effects lasting twice as long, which, I mean, buffs are always great, and Shrine effects lasting for 10 minutes, which I actually never noticed the difference between Pylons and Shrines, but let's check that out. Um, so I've got that with him, and... Uh, suffice to say that I'm doing the uh, Bone Spear thing, as you will see. And uh, if you are interested, I will get into greater detail about the build at the end of, and all of my gear, at the end of the run. Um, but if you're just here to see it happen, let's make that happen. And hope we get a decent layout. I always got to remember to resummon my simulacrums every time because for some reason they always want to unsummon them for me. I curse them, I stun them, I spear them. A lot of them I just want to get past. Although sometimes it's you know more convenient to just kill them because. The whole object is to kill everybody, after all. Hmm. <clears throat> the night embraces you. And they like to block your path. But it's best to find me in groups like this. Groups that have... Give it more time. Elite and or champions in them. That needs to reach. I understand so much more now. Give it more time. I oh, hit a couple of wrong buttons there. Yeah, sometimes my pinky slips. Give it more time. All must serve the cycle. But mostly it's just a lot of bone spear. I got the bone armor that kind of stuns everybody. Curses reduce everybody's damage and slow them and make them more susceptible to damage and all that good stuff which I get all the curses at once because of my small crumbs I use this version of the uh, scythe that scoops everybody together because I find that really handy for other uh, AoE type things to happen my essence is too low and when my essence gets low, I just uh, scoop up a bunch. And it doesn't take me long. I mean, it's better if I got a couple of more of them. It's funny how it's easier to kill more people than just one or two in this game. <clears throat> that needs to recharge. All right, I'm I'm slacking here. I gotta start really moving. Just look for those shrines and pylons. That needs to recharge. Not enough essence. I mean, big groups are always good to kill. Oh, see, here we go. Look how good my way out of back much faster. Oh, oh, look at that. Well, 
There we go. I didn't choose to uh, equip my unity because uh, survival hasn't been as much of an issue for me as damage lately. But uh, stands to reason that would happen, I suppose. This is my first attempt here. Hey, cut me some slack. Give it more time. Okay, okay, next floor, thank you. Move on. Moving on. Oh, it's fine. The AoE stun of that bone armor is invaluable. You can scoop a bunch of guys up like this, be getting your life gain and your mana back, and then AoE stun because you got that half a second before you. Bone Spirit kicks in, and uh, it just allows you enough time to get them all dead before they can hurt you. Give it more time. This world can abide you no longer. I don't know when you just need to step aside, too. Uh, there's no shame in uh, I must avoiding uh, beating. We are not tanks. And positioning is a lot when you're playing this kind of build. You gotta get the most out of your spears. You got that penetration going on from that skill that they have. Give it more time. Not enough essence. Oh, all right, time to scoop up a bunch. Scoop up a little batch here for some essence sucking. Oh, yes, my paddling. Mm. Essence. Alright. Where are the There we go. Gets me a champion. Hey, that's nice. I gotta say, that's a, that's a handy thing right there. Even in the midst of a big bash like this, between my scooping everybody up and my stunning everybody with the bone armor, I have some pretty decent survivability, usually. Although, uh, you know, there are there's those occasional things that just come up and uh, one-shot me, like you witnessed earlier. Give it more time. Oh, the frosty business. Avoid that. Uh, that's a big thing too in this build. If you can stay on one side of everybody, that's huge because uh, your bone spirits penetrate everything. There we go. Scoop up some more little globules. Devour some corpses here. Get some essence back. Not enough essence. Alright, Max, I'm holding on to that essence. I'm gonna get in the middle of these guys. Scoop them up. Give me your essence. Stun them all. Spear them. Everybody dead. Devour their corpses. <clears throat> Yum. I've got the uh, skill that refreshes mana every time I kill somebody, so as long as I'm actually slaughtering a good amount of people, uh, mana keeps up, but when I start to get into the harder levels, I have to get in there personally and, and get their essence out of their <clears throat> corpses myself. Uh, that's what devours for in that first slot as well, because that they are corpses and they can get more essence out of them. But, uh, the little scoopy scythe I find is very nice. That needs to return. And that, again, that AoE stun with the bone armor just gives you that second to like 
just the second that you need to kill everybody. <laughs> I must wait. Give it more time. Yes, she likes to complain about how often I tend to just spam the buttons. Is to make sure. Because I'm not always looking down to check my cooldowns, you know? Not enough essence. Scoop, scoop. Sit down the boss, which uh, I have found is the one weakness of this uh, Bone Spear build here. Is it uh, tends to do much better the more people you are killing at once. Single target, you start to have issues, especially with running out of essence. Give it more time. But, uh, you know, it just means sometimes you gotta get in there and uh, get physical. That needs to recharge. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Cause that, I mean, that's the great thing is that, you know, you got so much, oh, oh. Uh, so much health steal. Essence steel and all those, as long as you got a handful of guys to hit, you can, you know, you can sit there and recover everything. Almost. <laughs> or usually. Depends who you're up against there. But, oh, it's time to pull up. Alright, try and get some distance because I uh, a couple gems that increase my damage. Based on, oh, more cores here doesn't work, gonna let me. I'll find a good mid ground. Oh, goodness grief. Alright, now I gotta get in and coop some essence. Where are those corpses going? No corpses to devour. That means I gotta get in there and melee him to recoup essence. See, this is this what. I must, I must oh, where, he, where was he even just then? Okay. This is a bad part about the build, like I was saying. Okay. I need oh. Oh, goodness. My potion was up. Thank goodness. Alright. Come on. Oh, no, don't give me that. A lot of times these big guys, you can run around them. Alright, this one is done. Run around behind them. Oh, run around. Oh, can I run out of this side? Run away for a minute. No. I'll oh, stun on him again. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, is Harry. Oh. See him? That's what I'm talking about.
Now I wonder if stuff like uh, the accumulated damage from that one gym that stacks uh, percentages of damage every time you damage somebody, I wonder if that resets if when you die. It'd be a good thing to know. Or, or I mean, an interesting thing to know. I see, but good knowing that's really going to do you in battle, but um. <clears throat> I seriously gonna come on. Alright. Alright, buddy, come on. Oh, am I gonna make it? Oh, barely. Look at that timer. Look at that timer. Come on. Alright, I got some essence. I can't do that. <gasps> Woo! Look at that. 42 seconds remaining. Woo! Alright, oh, those are my extra gems from the, the helmet that my buddy has with the M8 that gives me a gem of the kind that's in my helmet. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, good stuff. Oh, I have too many blood shards again. So I'm going to make a town for back town so I can come back and scoop those up. And uh, But uh, hey, I did it. And uh, that's my uh, thousand some odd. Uh, Paragon Necromancer clearing level 100 Greater Rift for the first time. Um, that build, basically I got the whole uh, Masquerade set, uh, which is the Bone Spear set, of course. I got, uh, you know, mostly Topaz, a couple of the uh, Amethyst in there for life. I uh, just haven't built that up because I noticed this tendency to get one hit by certain stuff. Uh, I've got this Grisman Sentence Ring, which is great for the uh, increased damage against stuff, which um, it actually generates by itself a field that slows people. Oh. And then this guy here that increases damage against bosses and Rift Guardians, which uh, obviously is necessary. Um, yeah, the gem in here. Uh, damage for increase distance uh, the gem in here we've got yeah oh this is the one I meant to say a second ago yeah the aura of in reduced movement speed and increased damage against people whose movement speed are, is impaired like all into itself uh, and this set here I've I'm using the Traveler's Pledge and the Compass Rose because this 100% uh, increased damage, standing still, is um, pretty good. I'm using this uh, because, hey, it's my only primal. I, I actually got this from Kadala from Blood Shards, and uh, it was just better than any other thing that I had. It uh, gave me some basically irrelevant bonus anyhow. Um, got this, of course, because uh, that percentage damage, I've got bone armor going most of the time, and uh, Bone Spear is a secondary skill, so that 361% uh, additional damage uh, is always nice. And uh, that's, oh yeah, I'm using the Witching Hour. Uh, I had a couple other ones, but I know I probably need to still tweak a few things from my gear, but uh, that's what I got going. And uh, that was of interest to anybody. Thanks for watching. Good night.